Hey everybody, it's Goldsboro. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country. In the last episode, we um we tried to start elevator antics, but we ended up failing horribly. But in this episode, we are going to do our best to get as much more into Creme Croc Industries Incorporated as we can. Um so yeah, elevator antics, it's the gimmick doesn't start for a little bit, and I still screw up quite a bit in this stage, and I don't know why, but I do go for that same bonus stage like four times, I think. I, I, I don't remember correctly, but anyways, yeah, I don't get what my deal was in this stage. It doesn't, it doesn't happen anymore, like how, like, I just keep messing up, because thankfully, I, I kind of learned my lesson and I start being more careful. It's like, um, I have a whole Castlevania 1 kind of mind going on, where it's like, I gotta be careful what I'm doing, because if I do something wrong, I'm gonna end up dying or messing up horribly. Thankfully, I learned that lesson, though I do die a few more times, but, eh, I'll be fine. See, um, there's people, I, I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's people mowing, uh, the grass outside the back of my, uh, my apartment. But, yeah. So yeah, I might be, uh, I know this might be a little random, but I'm probably going to be getting a new DS soon, like, from one of my friends, I'm probably going to, I mean, like, she said I could buy her, like, her DS off of her for, like, um, 50 bucks, and I'm, I'm pretty close to, um, that, that amount, and I might be, uh, like I said, I might be getting, uh, a brand new DS, that's pink, hopefully the tractor will come with it. And if you're about to say, why are you going to get it pink? Because it's from a girl. What do you expect? And it doesn't matter because it's a DS and as long as it works, it doesn't matter if it's pink. I could care less. And I do truly mean that. You know what? I just thought about something. You know how there's like multicolored, um, like, um, zingers? What I just thought about is that I just noticed that it... Even though that there's multiple colors, they're not even, like, color-coded to do specific things. It's like, the brown ones will, like, are either stationary or move from left to right. You know, that's the most I've seen from the brown ones. The yellow ones, they'll be sta either stationary or flying around like a retard. And same thing with blue and green and red ones. I think that there's blue, green, and red ones. I forget. But, um, whatever. Oh, yeah, guys. Awesome stuff that happened a couple days ago. For the very first time in my life, I got 102% in Donkey Kong Country 2, and I'm happy, because, yes. And, uh, by the way, that bonus stage I found, that was pretty lucky. And, if I'm correct, that is it for Elevator Antics. Next up is believed to be the most aggravating stage in the game, and surprisingly, I only died, like, once or twice, if I'm correct, and I'm proud of that, because this stage was annoying. If you guys, um, remember that I did a, a Let's Play of the game before, something really funny that happened was that I actually spent about 20 minutes in the stage alone. 20 minutes that's a lot of lives and a lot of times I died because I did not know where what came from where I would constantly run into sharks and shit and it was ridiculous by the way the stage is called poison pond it's green um I don't see the beetles anywhere so um yeah but whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter because we're 
Doesn't matter, we're gonna get through the stage. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Fun and easy, because the stage isn't ac actually as bad as I probably would have put it a long time ago. I'm a little tired. Um, I'll admit that. I do keep dying in the exact same spot, because I don't actually notice when things are coming. Because... Like, like I've said before, recently, that it's just, I usually find the game for some reason, I would play the game again, it wouldn't even matter, I will still find things that happen in the game horrendously unpredictable. I will run into things, even though I've been in that area before, and have gotten hit. Like, if you saw earlier, that Chomps Jr. that hit me. Um, I will, co I will probably do that constantly throughout the rest of the LP anyways, because that's just how I am. I, I learned my mistakes after I've lost about 30 lives, but, eh. Okay, that's, I'm, I'm doing a, I do, I'm doing a KO count, I think that was three. Um, I might actually go back in the, I might actually re-watch the whole LP, just to get the, just to get a count of how many times I died, and then I'll, for the very last episode, I'll put a, like, a score count of how many times I died, how many bonus stages I found, how many times I played bonus stages, or something like that, I don't know. Probably just how many times I died. But, whatever. Stage is hard, by the way. Like, I don't find it to be the worst stage in the game, but it's still pretty damn hard. I can admit that. It's really, really hard. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um. So, yeah, if you guys are, like, if you guys are raring to see me do a, um, a 100% run on, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, you just might be seeing one of those. Because I felt good that I got 102%, and I'm raring to LP it in the next year because that's probably when I'm going to be LPing it because I still gotta do freaking Pokemon Crystal um I think I have about one or two projects that I'm gonna do before actually doing the second Donkey Kong Country because I don't know I think I died right in front of the checkpoint I forget But yeah, after Pokemon Crystal, though, I do plan on doing a couple of different things. Like, probably still gonna be Nintendo games, but... Eh. Eventually, and I swear on this, when I have a job, I'm gonna get a Dazzle or something, and you're gonna be seeing me doing cooler things besides... ME BEING RETRO! <sighs> To be honest, I think Pokemon Yellow will be as horrible as I'm going to get. <laughs> yep. Whoops, did I just say that out loud? But, um... Okay, I didn't die like three times. I died a lot, but... Legitimately, I'm still doing pretty good. I did do a lot better than um than in the last LP of Donkey Kong Country, which I actually did finish. I just never got it out. Sadly, <laughs> very, very sadly. Um. So yeah, guys. Anybody uh planning on getting ga any games that well recently have come out in some sort of way, like uh. After I get my $50 pink DS, I plan on, I actually plan on getting, like, the Walking Dead game, because it looks really cool, and it's, re I played the demo, and it's really fun, well, I think it's really fun, because I like context-sensitive games like that, even though I've only played, like, a couple, because I do like, um, uh, quick time events, even though, um, there are games that do it very badly, like Resident Evil 4.
But, eh. Um, any other games I play? I plan on rebuying both Star Wars: The Force Unleashed games because those were two games that I really liked, and I'm sad that my brother was dumb enough to let somebody borrow it and I'd never see them again. Guys, is it bad that I want to get a PS3 just so I can get things like Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires and like Metal Gear Solid 4 and stuff like that? I hope it's not a bad thing. I heard it. I think I hit the checkpoint. I don't know how many lives ago it was, but... And I think I died right at the beginning. Good job, me. I'm sorry guys that this video has been mostly just me going through Poison Pond. I do promise though that stuff will be getting a lot better. I mean, I'll be getting much better because after this is over, I do pretty much blaze through the rest of the game because I do mostly know what I'm doing. Even though um, the second to last part is like 9 minutes, I mean it's like 19 minutes long. But I shouldn't be too bad. I should be done. I mean, I will be done very soon. I only have like three episodes left, thank god, and I got Unguard, and Unguard practically breaks water stages. Thank god. I think I lost him too. I and died at the same time, so... Ugh. These people... With their weed whackers outside my house. I'm about ready to go off. Okay, they, they are rolling the lawn and the grass is getting tall. Last thing I want is to be walking and a snake is around my feet. Because yes, I live right next to a spot where snakes are around. And snakes are evil. I'm not ready to switch chairs when I record. Because I don't think you guys want to hear my creaking chair. But... You know what? Give me a moment, guys. Let the game go. Oh, shit. Whoops. Better? I say so. I like this chair. This chair is very nice even though it's very big and old. Yeah, um, I'm actually a little more than halfway through um, Pokemon Crystal already. Cause um, like I told you guys before, I do everything pre-recorded. And I've pretty much recorded about six badges in already. Which is probably a bad idea because I should be able to know what's going on and I'm gonna and it's gonna be like years later and I'm gonna be like, okay, I have no idea what's going on everybody. I just know I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna record any more than I already have because that I think that'd be an even worse idea than me just being like, Yo! I got my G's! I don't even know what... What, what it... I... I don't know anymore! Anyways, guys, that's it for Poison Pond. We finally got out of it after spending more than half the video dealing with it, but... See you guys next time where we are going to finish Creme Croc Industries Incorporated. See you guys then.